In today's review, it's for age 13 and up, and it's Figma Horse Version 2 Chestnut. So yeah, here's the box. It's a clear window. Number 490 has that Figma sticker. This is just an accessory, I believe. An expensive one. <laughs> That's the picture. So the horse uh, picture is glossy and the surrounding area is matte. So just in case you get a bootleg one, this is how it's supposed to look like if it's original. So matte on the box and the horse picture is glossy. All right, these are the back pictures or the poses. Put any uh, six inch figure on top. So yeah, pretty nice. That's more of uh, the glossy pictures and the matte back box. All right. Once again, those uh, tape has to be circular. Mostly buy it on Amazon because that's mostly where you'll find the original figments. There's a lot of fake ones out there. So yeah, that's enough of the box. And this is the stand that it comes with. So it says Figma on it. I remember those Chinese logos. Max Factory. Those little Chinese logos on the back. I make sure that it's original. Then you have the Figma baggy, Ziploc bag. Also came wrapped in this uh, paper mache looking thing there. Has a lot of plastic to cover the horse. Remember the manual has to be perfectly folded. That's how you know you have an original one. That's enough of the box. That's all it came with. And this is the horse. It's going to look nice in your shelf. Tell you that much. And start slowly. So yeah, look at this horse. And it does have a figure on top. You guessed it. Aaron Yeager. Look at this horse, man. Looks beautiful. With this character on top. This is version 2, so it's more detailed. So it has a lot of muscular, it looks less like of a cartoon, more like a real horse. Has a lot of uh, joints there, nice tail. Could put the little, like, uh, foot holster there. Put it, put it longer, you could take off this piece there, it's removable. Has this uh, plastic uh, rein for Aaron Yeager to hold it or any other six inch figure. And it's very stable. Has a lot of joints. Looks real nice. And Aaron looks real nice on just like the show. Too bad it doesn't come together with Aaron Yeager. But it is nice. I think it, the Irving gets the white horse. I think that's the version one horse. I don't know. I'm just guessing there. I don't have that figure, but this is, looks nice. And I didn't get the white horse because they mostly ride around with the brown horse. And this makes the figure 10 times better. And stable, because this guy, he, has a lot of heavy equipment and it'll be nice to catch up to the Titans with the horse. He has uh, also ports at the bottom just in case so you, you could put the figure joint, I mean the stand. So you would put him uh, those sort of dynamic poses. He has uh, also a hole in the back. So you could put that uh, rising horse pose and yeah, that's pretty much it. Has it's very articulated. You can put them in any cool horse pose. 
walking poles or any standing poles. So yeah, I highly recommend it. It is a real nice horse for a Figma. Very accurate. I know there's a lot of more horses out there. Like the, what is that? A uh, Mythic Legion's horse right now. But I didn't want to buy that one because I wanted to fit more with the Figma theme. So Figma makes horses for their own type of characters. And Mythic Legion's, who knows, with their own characters. This horse, it is heavy as well. It weighs more than you think. It's not a hollow horse. It weighs about maybe like two or three pounds. It's pretty heavy for a figure. So it's not like one of those hollow cheap toy. So yeah, it has a lot of detail on it. It would be nice if they added the hair on it, <laughs> like real hair. His hooves, it does have some detail on it. Has those uh, horseshoes. So even at the bottom of it, everything is nice. So yeah, this is a real nice horse for your display. It'll make your display way much better. It's gonna be pricier, but it's gonna be real nice. No risk, no reward, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, this is a real nice horse. I give it a 10 out of 10. Highly recommend.